Hello friends, in this video, let's quickly talk about how to install PyCharm and how to start PyCharm in a Windows machine. What is the purpose of PyCharm here? PyCharm is one of the best IDE to develop the Python based applications. Do you have any other IDEs to develop the Python applications? Yes, we do have Python itself having one IDLE integrated development and learning environment. And we have a Jupyter. It works similar to the PyCharm and we have a spider and even we can use some Visual Studio codes as well. There are multiple IDEs are there which helps us to develop the Python based applications, Python based projects. First of all, what is IDE? Why we need an IDE? IDE is nothing but integrated development environment. Development <coughs> environment, integrated development environment. Why do we need it? See, we need a place. We need a window to develop the projects. Each and every technology having their own windows to develop their applications. So let's talk about with .NET projects. For .NET projects, we have a Visual Studio IDE. Visual Studio IDE to develop the .NET based projects. So to develop the SQL server to develop the SQL server procedures or SQL server complex objects, we have a SQL server management studio. Similarly, each and every technology having their own IDEs. Even for MSBI, we have a SQL server data tools also call it as BIDS in the old days. Business Intelligence Development Studio. See like this each and every technology having their own IDEs integrated development environments to develop the applications to develop the complex applications. So like Python also having their own IDE IDLE we call it as Along with that, you can use that as well. Also, you can use uh, PyCharm or you can use uh, Jupyter, Jupyter or Spider. You can use these all. It's up to us. Each and every IDE having their own uniqueness. In this video, let's talk about PyCharm. <coughs> See, let me try to download the PyCharm and let me show you how to install on a Windows machine and let me show you how to start it. So let's quickly go to the Google and let's type for PyCharm download. So once you click on PyCharm download, so first link you will get it from a JetBrains. So just click on it. So once you click on it, you will redirect to the their uh, window. So there you can see professional version as well as community version. So here community version is free per pure Python development. It's open source and free. So I'm not going to use a professional. So I'm, I'm planning to use community. So let's click on download. So once you click on download, it downloads for us. If you see here at the extreme left bottom side, you can see my download things. You can see here how much more time required to download and all. So let, let's wait for the download. So once it download, we can see the installation. Let's wait for a while for the download part. Yeah, 
the software is just downloaded so let's uh, click on the installation double click on it so once you double click on it it opens a window it opens a window yeah let's click on yes once you click on yes it it shows it asks you for the uh, uh, like a general window it asks for the next let's click on next so once you click on next like a, it shows the path where exactly it is going to install and the total space required for this software is a uh, 589 mb and we have available yeah i have the uh, a total available space for those to accommodate that and you can see that pycharm community edition 2019.2.3 <clears throat> now let's click on next so here like a, i have only 64 bit um, uh, compatibility now because i mine is 64 bit one let's select that and like a update context menu and all create associations dot py if you have any existing uh, python files it shows you that but it, there is no harm in uh, create uh, checking this or there is no problem even if you check on check so let's select this 64 bit launcher and click on next so let's click on install so once you click on install it takes a while to install the um, uh, software in our machine yeah installation is uh, just finished so you you can see this like at the last step like a run pycharm community edition if you want you can check it and you click on finish otherwise you can directly go to the uh, shortcut and you can click on it once you click on finish that's it so installation is done now let's go to the uh, desktop in desktop there you can see this it has been created one uh, shortcut uh, key for us let's uh, click on it for the first time it takes a while to open a pycharm window please bear with me yeah you can see this it is getting started now you can see a pycharm community 2019.2 <coughs> so do you want to import any settings like a, you can do that otherwise that's okay for me it's okay Yes, it's a general uh, like a terms and conditions one. You need to accept these all rules and regulations for the first time. I confirm that I have, I have read and accept the terms of the user agreement. Click on continue. And yes, okay, don't send. It's not that mandatory for us. Yeah. <coughs> See, for the first time, it is setting up the uh, like uh, all the files for us. It takes a while. Yeah, as a first window, you'll see this. if you see this you have like a two themes see like if you are aware of like a, some visual studio visual studio is also having like a couple of themes so by default like a, so white theme in the long um, back they used to give only white and uh, some these colors but later they included like a, some blue and some dark colors as well but i prefer uh, light colors okay so if you want to see some dark colors you can uh, you can select this theme and you can click on next but i i prefer light so let's click on uh, uh, this i i don't think i need this let's click on okay mm, skip the remaining and set defaults once you click on okay you will open you'll get a pycharm window for the first time it takes a while please bear with me Yes now you will get this window for the first time let's click on create new project Yeah here you you have to give some uh, name of the folder first time it's asking for the location where do you want to save all your uh, projects so i i want to save in some c c folder itself uh, let's make uh, make the name as samples or examples whatever it is because for the practice purpose i can give whatever the name but in the real time i'll give the uh, relevant name let's click on create once you're okay with the naming convention let's click on create see it, the natural like 
the default behavior of PyCharm is to give you some tips. Okay. So if you want, you can click on next, next and read it all the tips. Otherwise, let's click on close. It's creating virtual environment. Let's remove. Yeah. Let's let let it become ready. Then only it allows you me to uh, close or something. For the first time, it is taking time to set it up. Yeah, let's click on remove this uh, tips part and uh, click on close. Now this is the first window you see in uh, PyCharm uh, project. Okay, let's if you want to start here, you can simply right click and uh, yeah, let's let it start. You can simply click on sorry. Yeah, let's click on extend this yeah, here. New Python file. So you can give whatever the name you want. Uh, the first example or first uh, first uh, example. I'm, I'm just giving first example whatever the name I want. So once I say the first example, you can see this. So this is the first uh, window we see whenever we open a Python. Let's simply do it like I, I, as a first example, everybody we expect for the hello world example. Let's click on print. You can make it as hello world or hello. It's up to us. Hello world. Okay. Then once you're done with it, let's save it. It's a normal save like a save control S or you can go to the file and save. Then how to run this. So right click and there is a run in file in Python console or something like that. You, you can do whatever you want. So run this Python, uh, run this file in Python console or directly you can do it in the PyCharm itself. You can, you can run this file in Python itself. Yeah, you can otherwise like once you go to run and click on run first example. So first example is nothing but the name of the Python file. So once you do that, like it executes and it gives you the result. Otherwise, you can simply yeah, you can see the result here. Result as hello world, the statement which we are printing here. So this is how we do the installation. This is how we do start PyCharm in a Windows machine. So that's all about it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe for more technical videos. Thank you. Thank you for watching.